We're going to continue with our availabilities today at Bristol Motor Speedway. We are now joined by Elliot Sadler, driver of the number one one main financial Ford. Elliot is one of four NASCAR Xfinity Series Dash for Cash drivers this weekend at Bristol, competing for a $100,000 bonus in tonight's race. Elliot, talk about competing for the bonus tonight. Man, that's great. It's uh, anytime you're lucky enough and fortunate enough to be a part of the Dash for Cash. I've been uh, very fortunate the last four or five years to, to go for a couple of them and, and, and win a couple. I think I won three or four of them. So um, always a lot of fun, and I, I can't think of a better place to race for it here at Bristol where there's always uh, so much action, and you don't know really who's going to win to the last lap. We even saw that in the truck race the other night. So I uh, appreciate Xfinity uh, putting the Dash for Cash on. It's great for our series. It's great for our sports. It's great for our team, sponsors, drivers. It's, uh, it's always a lot of fun when you race for that extra 100000 definitely. All right, we'll go ahead and open it up to questions. Please state your name and affiliation. We'll start up here with Kenny. Kenny Bruce with NASCAR.com. Hey, Bruce. You think you've won three or four of them. It's $100,000 each time you win one. Do you not keep up with that kind four of Four of them, I think. <laughs> four of them, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, Good point. <laughs> on the on the cup side with the chase and everything, we always hear about teams, you know, having their best pieces ready for the end of the year and stuff like that. On the Xfinity side, are you guys do you do anything similar to that as far as having cars, you know, specific cars ready for the final push? Yeah, I, I tell you what we did. Um, you know, we have a system at, at our race team uh, with Ralph Spinway, just like every every team has. Well, if you run a car and it's a good car, it has to kind of go through a process goes back through the shop if it needs any body work, chassis work done to it. If it needs to get, you know, go to NASCAR and get reinspected and certified, it'll do that. This is this is the actual car we ran a couple weeks ago uh, at Indy and ran very well with. And and my guys really turn it around real quick to bring it to Bristol because we're running for the extra hundred thousand. It's a newer car, which we've had some success on here lately. Uh, we had an old car scheduled to come to Bristol, and I begged them and begged them to please. Um, maybe have to work some extra hours and do some extra things to, to give us a better shot of winning at 100000 So, yes, I think teams have certain cars and, and certain things that they try to line up and put in their possession uh, for particular races that you go to. Additional questions for Elliot? We'll go in the back to Mike and then over here to Bruce. Mike Neff from FrontStretch.com. Elliot, um, obviously Bristol holds a special place in your heart after winning in the Cup Series here in 2001. Different tracks for different different horses, as they like to say. There's a special feel to getting around this place fast. Has that feel stayed with you since 2001, or has it changed with the way the cars have changed over the years? You know, so what's weird about uh, Bristol is uh, this track has changed so much. It's nowhere near the same track it was in 2001. It's not even the same track it was when I won here last in the Xfinity car in 2012. Um, you know, the old track, you raced around the bottom. You had to worry about forward bite. Your driving style and technique was so much different here in 2012. You had the groove; it moved around to the middle, to the kind of to the top. Uh, but then when they reground the surface, and it gave so much more grip up against the wall. Now the groove is right up against the wall. So even as, if it's the same Bristol, it's still the half mile track. The the setups, uh, the driving style, the feel that you have in the car is very very different. So it, it would make it special if we were able to win on this on, on this newer style track with the ground top on it. So um, it's definitely a lot different field than, than what it was e even a couple years ago. Yes sir. Reed. Uh, Reed Spencer with NASCAR Wire Service Elliott. Uh, what does it say about the relative strength of the series that you've had nine different drivers at this point qualify in the three dash for cash races? I think it's great. Um, you know we hear it all the time we want to know how healthy our sport is moving forward. You know, we're, we're, you know, drivers, young drivers coming in, talented drivers coming in, and I, I think it shows that um, a lot of the uh, cup affiliated teams across the board have, have got some good shoes in their cars, and I think that's why so many different guys have qualified for the Dash for Cash for tonight and um, uh, and, and for the series for the whole season. We're just we're lucky enough to be a part of it. it you know, a couple of years ago it was the same three or four drivers in each Dash for Cash. This year has been seemed like it's a a little bit more of a widespread group. So that means um, everybody's more on an equal playing field than what they were four or five years ago. That's what it shows to me. That's it's a little bit more depth in the series than what it was, which is good for the sport. Go ahead, Jonathan. Jonathan Merriman, NASCAR.com. Growing up fairly close to here, it's got to be a pretty special place for you. How do you balance $100,000 on the line, wanting to get a win here, and then you're fifth in points as well? I mean, obviously, if you get a win, you take care of all three. But when you're behind the wheel, 
how do you balance where you prioritize everything? It, it's easy to prioritize this. You try to win the damn race, and that takes care of everything else. Uh, points to me right now, I, I could, don't, could really give a flip about. It's, uh, it's trying to win the race week in and week out, and, and you, especially when you go to tracks that you feel like you've got a good history and a good notebook and a good feeling about, you want to go to those tracks and win. If we win the race, we win $100,000. If we can't win the race and we're not in that situation, then we're seeing who, uh, you know, who we're racing against. But I think the 22 cars in it, and I think they've led like the last 9,000 laps in a row here in, a, in the Xfinity race. So we've got you know, to we have our work cut out for us, and um, you know, we're here to win the race. That, everything else just... Let it fall where it may. Chris. Chris Knight, catchfans.com. Chris. Hey, Elliot. Um, it's not very often that you get to race with your brother, Hermie, anymore, but he's racing here tonight in J for JGL Racing. Is that still a special moment when you guys get to race together on the track? Yeah, it's cool, man. I, you know, my brother loves this sport, and um, I think he does a really good – and I'm biased, but I think he does a really good job covering it for, for the truck series, and he really puts a lot of hard and effort into it and knows what he's talking about. Uh, uh, when, when he's covering all the truck races from the pit. So when he gets a chance and an opportunity to, to race in these things, it's special to him. He, I mean, he, he loves it. He's, he's like a kid in a candy store this week. And my parents get to come now because they, they get to watch us both race at the same time. So I know he's going to do the best job he possibly can for that team. And I think he's, um, he might have another one on the docket coming up too later on in the year. But uh, I know Bristol's uh, special to him, and I'm proud of him and happy for him, and hopefully he'll have a good night. And then as far as Xfinity is nearing the end of its first season as sponsor, you think they've done a good job? Let me tell you what they did, and I know I've said this before. The Xfinity TV Go app is the coolest thing I've ever had on my phone or my kids' iPads. It's made all of our trips way more fun. So I think they've done a great job working with the drivers. I know I get phone calls all, all the time from them asking questions and suggestions and things that they're doing and can they do better, and they really want to reach out to each and every fan that they can, not only here at the racetracks and the stands but also at home. So, uh, But my biggest feedback to them is this Xfinity TV Go app. Guys, that's, I'm not, that's not a paid commercial for me. If you've got kids, that is the coolest app you can ever have on your phone or your iPad, especially if you, go, if you travel. So I think they've done great. Any final questions for Elliot? All right, we'll go to Dustin and then Kelly. Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Hey, I know uh, a couple weeks back there were reports about your mm -hmm. future. Um, so will you be back at, at Roush Fenway Racing after this season? And how do you deal with that with uh, with your team as you're still trying to win races? Yeah, so how do you deal with that? We, we just got to go out and race, man. I got a lot of good friends on this team, and uh, man, we got to go out and – try to put our best foot forward. We, I really want to win a race really bad over here. I want to win one for, for Jack. I really want to win one for Doug and, and everybody in that team. Um, you know, I saw the reports come out just like you did, and the report was about 50-50, 50% true and 50% not true. And the, the true part was I had not signed and have not signed with anybody. So that, that part of the, uh, the, the report was definitely true. The rest of it I have no idea about. But um, I don't have anything to announce here today. We're still working through some things for next year. You know, I've, I've told you guys this before, man. I want to be a part of this sport. I want to be. Uh, I want to be competitive. I still think to this day, the last five years, there's no other Xfinity regular that has more poles and more wins than I do. And I want to keep that going. I want to stay competitive and, and stay up front. Uh, One Main Financial is the longest running primary sponsor in the Xfinity series, so they support this series a bunch. They support the the NASCAR fans. Uh, they support these programs. They want to be in this sport for a long time and. Um, you know, hope, hopefully we'll be able to do that. Yeah, we're still working. We're still just, man, it, there's a lot of moving parts right now. I, I know you all know there's a lot of stuff going on right now in our sport. When, when, just when you think something's going to happen, something else happens over in the corner. You just, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on, so we'll see. All right, Elliot, thanks for your time today, and good luck tonight. Okay, guys, thank you all. Have a good night.